Moving to technology, Helen, how, how has that played a part in your strategy during 2020? Um, I think it's fairly safe to say it started off playing a pretty fundamental part to our strategy. Um, it, was, it was very much an objective that I was given when I joined the organisation back in December, um, was to understand the landscape, what we needed, um, and come up with a roadmap for how we deployed that technology. Um, which I did. And then in March, I basically ripped it up. Um, it became very, very clear very quickly that technology, new technology, wasn't going to be an option for us in the short term. The business has so many other priorities that it needs to face into um, and, and trying to bring in um, any kind of you know, workflow management tool or e-billing or anything like that was just was just going to be a stretch too far. And so what we've actually done is, is very much go back to basics. Um, we've reflected on what technology infrastructure we've got in place in the organisation, um, not just in legal, but actually within other areas of the business, so in procurement and finance, and how we can leverage that technology to deliver value into the business and into the legal team. And I think it's really, really important to take that time to actually reflect. Um, we've had to look at processes and, and consider what we've actually got in place does it work in a virtual environment? Do, will it, how will it work when we go back to the office? And how can we design something that is sufficiently flexible and agile to allow us to be able to do our jobs um, effectively and that, that kind of facilitates processes? So that's, that's very much a journey we're just embarking on at the moment is, is exploring that technology um, and, and understanding what we can do with the infrastructure that we've got at the moment. There's so many exciting tools out there at the moment that we have already got and we just need to actually start to leverage um, properly. I mean, I think everybody's talking about the 365 suite at the moment. There's so much that you can do with that. Um, and, and, and in terms of new technology, that's, that's very much something for further down the line when we'll work out where the gaps are. So it sounds like fairly early days for you and technology and the legal team at the moment, Helen, but any, any lessons you can share with, with everyone on, on how to implement technology successfully? Absolutely. I think, I mean, I did technology implementations um, in my previous role with the co-op. Um, and I think actually what we're doing at EasyJet isn't far off what I would recommend that anybody does is take a step back and think about what you're actually trying to achieve. You know, there's so many fantastic solutions out there that, that promise the earth. But if you're not actually going to use the earth, then do you really need them? How what, you need to understand the problem that you're solving what process you're going through to answer that question and then you can work out what piece of technology is going to help you in answering that question rather than just looking at something that's really exciting um, i think it's also um, really important to consider um, what you what the overall ecosystem of your technology looks like um, and i think that's not to get tied up in you know, all of the, you know, well, will this interface with that other thing that I buy in 10 years time? Um, but it's more about thinking, well, how how are these pieces of the jigsaw puzzle actually going to fit together? And I think, you know, that finally, and the most important um, piece is really people. And it's talking to people. It's understanding what they want. And it's bringing them on the journey and, and making sure that they understand why you're selecting what you're selecting, why you're meeting with the people that you're meeting with, bringing them into the conversations, getting them to ask the questions, you know, especially for me, I'm, I'm very firmly in the um, not a lawyer camp and wear my badge with, with great pride, uh, but that does mean that I don't have the first idea of, of how to draft a contract and I don't know how to use some of these tools in practice. Um, and so get people in, get them, get them to be ambassadors and, and embrace the change um, and that'll make everything so much easier.